Morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris with Holly Ridge Homestead. And today we're gonna to be working on uh, the pasture and the fencing. You've ever heard the uh, saying, grass is greener on the other side of the fence? Uh, well, the grass is taller on the other side of the fence for us. And spring is coming. The horses will start pushing down on the fence. So I have poly rope on top of the fence that's electrified and the battery is down so the horses have been touching the top and it's not working obviously so either I have a fault a short in the wire or the battery it's pretty much the battery but uh, we're going we're going to check the battery we're going to check the solar panel we've got to uh, tighten up the corner post adjust some gates so we're going to do some fence work but first you see her touching it over there she's playing with it with her lip it's because it's not hot I should pop her if it was. All right, guys, I'm over here at my charger system. Uh, I have a Speedrite 2000. It's a 20 joule, I'm sorry. It's a uh, 20 mile uh, charging system. And it's, uh, I, this one here is hooked up to solar. And um, I just have my battery just right down here below it. <clears throat> Nothing special. I've had this set up about a year and a half and it works fine. Um, I really like the charger if I build a new pasture there is actually a uh, different cord system that you can use to plug into a 110 outlet and I wouldn't have to use um, solar but right now this is how we how it's set up it's too far away and I don't have any electric out here but anyways I need to uh, check um, the system to see what the battery voltage is if we've got any amperage going out uh, the current runs this way and it should come back this way. So I have a little fault finder and what it does is basically you put it on the fence, press a little button and it'll show the direction of the current how many amperages. If there is a, um, a ground out area somewhere where maybe it's touching uh, the wire somewhere, on this side it will have a different type of amperage uh, and it, that basically tells me that I have a fault and I need to go look somewhere around the fence. So basically you just hold the button down on the back side there's a on the back side there's a spot where the fence can go in and you hold the button down push it in there and I have I don't know if you can see that or not I have 11 amps going to my left which is the direction of current that's kind of high so it's showing me that I've got um, a high voltage going around I'm sorry a high amperage going around which basically is telling me that it's not putting out the right amount of um, current but I'm also I'm not hearing the click and the click is the amount of uh, it's a pulse that um, that's going through here and energizing the uh, poly rope so most likely my battery is uh, really low so what I'm gonna do is I'll test the battery real quick and if it's low we'll take it up we'll put it on charge you know we're going through the winter right now uh we're coming into spring but we're going through the winter so i've got 8.49 volts which is not enough so i'm gonna take the battery up to the house put it on charge check the water i've got some distilled water up there fill uh the cells up <clears throat> i don't believe it's my energizer i can hear it trying to work there's just not enough uh, voltage that's coming through the uh, uh solar system All right, so what we're gonna do now is I've got these uh, tensioners on the corner post to keep them uh, tight, which helps keep the fence tight. I have a tool that you use to ratchet them to tighten each one up. So each fence, each corner has two uh, tensioners. So I need to get all those checked to make sure that they are tight. What you doing, buddy? Huh? What you doing? Huh? You trying to bite my finger? All right, so to uh, to tighten these uh, strainers up, all you need is a ratchet strainer. Um, I'm just gonna call it a, a wrench. Uh, all this I got at Tractor Supply. 
<clears throat> you don't have to use one of these, but it's a cool toy. I like toys. And, but you can use actually just a regular socket to tighten these up. So this one here is not really that loose. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and put one, um, one little wrench on it and uh, just to tighten up because I know that this gate has uh, needs some adjustments and stuff. So basically it has a groove here and then a little bolt going through here which will catch this right here and it's a ratchet is all it is. Slip it on. <clears throat> Just like that right there. And that's tight. All right, so this strainer is really loose and uh, it's not doing us any good on this corner post. So, and this may be one of the reasons why uh, we're having a little issues with the gate latch on this particular gate. So we'll tighten this one up here and see what we got. All right, so this one here is pretty tight. You got one loose wire, and I think what happened is uh, it will adjust itself out. But uh, that should work on this one right here. So while I'm walking my fence line, I'm checking to make sure that this is ha this has plenty of space between it, and that these are not grounded out and uh, causing a short in the line. But when I walk through here, you'll see that I've got one that's grounded out. Now what this is, uh, most likely a deer had jumped over this, bent this down, and has pushing that on top of there. So you just check it, fix it, and go on to the next one. I'm not too much worried about that right there. Watch out. So this is a perfect example of why I had to put this uh, poly wire up in electric fight. And you see that the horses all down through here have been pushing down to get to the grass on the other side uh, when it's taller. And they'll, they'll push this down all the way to the ground and just cross it even though this is really extremely tight always make sure that you know your wire is off away from the fence make sure it doesn't ground off and everything i really like these uh easy latch systems i mean you just lift a lever you just lift the lever up push it and then and then all you do is push it back and it has a little groove where it catches you can go inside you can go each way with this latch system and it really makes it easy when you're moving uh, animals and equipment and those things and you actually can lock the gate itself to where it cannot be opened but uh we got these online we have four of them we have them on each gate and i i really like them i'll continue to use them i haven't had any issues with them besides having to adjust the gates over time now guys, you don't have to go with these tensioners and the fancy little tools and stuff of that nature. You can still go uh, use rebarb, twist it, and use this as a brace to hold the rebarb. But uh, I knew at one point we would be selling our place and I wanted to, you know, cosmetics, make it look as pretty as possible. But, uh, you know, this is just such an easy system to use. I mean, it takes no effort at all. And I can hear the gate, I can hear the gate adjusting as I do that. Alright, so 
So that one's adjusted and I can hear the gate lifting, which I, we've been having issues with a little drag on this one. Guys, this was an easy job for me today uh, to knock out real quick. I mean, I haven't been out here 30 minutes doing what I need to. Uh, the only thing we have left is to charge up the battery, put it back in here, and it should be just fine on energizing the top of uh, the poly braid. And if, um, if the battery doesn't hold a charge, uh, throughout the uh, summer, we'll just replace it and then we'll be good for another four or five years uh, Haven't had any issues with this uh, solar uh, charging system. Uh, I really like the speed right energizer and uh, I mean it's doing exactly what we need it to do But if I missed anything that you guys might want to know a little bit more about this system, I mean all I did to learn how to do this I'm not an electrician. I, I'm. I learn everything by doing it. I, I got on YouTube. I Googled, and it explained to me how to. Uh, uh, you know, it explained to me how to put this system in place. There's plenty of videos out there explaining how to put a system in. But if you have questions from you know about this particular energizer or the solar panel, or something of that nature, just send me a comment and I'll respond to you or send me an email. Guys, I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching, and we'll see you on the next video.